Let's pick up the discussion with our energy, our, our markets panel, energy, a Freudian slip there. We've got rising rates, uh, slumping tech stocks, and the energy crisis all hitting markets hard today with the Dow and S&P on pace for their worst day since May. We're just off the session lows. The Dow was over 600 points down a moment ago. Chris Crisanti is chief equity strategist and senior portfolio manager at MAI Capital Management. And Mark Avalone is president of Potomac Wealth Advisors. It's good to have you guys both here. Chris, I'll start with you and how much further you think this move has to run. Oh, I think it may have a little further to run, Kelly. It's nice to be with you again. Um, what I would say, though, is I would be a buyer of, of equities here. I, I think what we're doing is coming to really the end of a Delta variant-induced slowdown. And, and I think it's the end because we're starting to see some things that people are taking as negatives. For example, oil is going up, interest rates are going up. But, but that's not a bug. It's a feature of a growing economy. And sure, do, does anybody love higher rates? Not necessarily. But if they're a byproduct of a growing economy and that economy continues to grow next year, I think we'll be just fine. And I'd, I'd continue to buy equities here. Continue to buy equities. Uh, Mark, I think a lot of people are going to want to know maybe which kind. Um, you know, financials and energy, we saw that trade in the first quarter. Is the trade back on now? And if so, for yeah, I mean, it's obviously back on. But for how long do you think? Well, for short-term traders, these are the sort of rotations that they feast on and what they enjoy. We tend to be a little more longer term, but yes, we are very positive on financials. There's there's a couple of dynamics that go even beyond the, the rate hike cycle that we may, maybe not the rate hike cycle, but the tapering in a rising rate environment. That is favorable for banks. We also saw another regional bank merger next year. We expect those to continue. Banks must consolidate. There's too many stores and they need to close to compete with online banks and the, and the mega banks. So I think you, you'd be well served to look at a, a broad range of regional banks here that are going to benefit also from a stronger economy.